I'm Teresa V, and this is the place to be if you're a sensitive love warrior who wants to feel more alive in this world that you love. Though most of you know me as a spiritual teacher, I'm also a holistic health and wellness expert, and my first client was myself. I healed my own body of many conditions. So today we'll be speaking about our natural inclination to cleanse in the spring, why that is, and very simple ways that you can cleanse and detox your body without changing your life very much at all. For many, the thought of doing a formal cleanse where you set aside a certain amount of time and go deep into the detox and cleansing process is completely overwhelming and may feel unrealistic based on your life circumstances. The good news is there are some very simple things that you can do right now to start your body detoxing that really won't take very much extra energy or any changes to your daily schedule at all. Because we are not separate from nature, nature provides exactly what we need in every single season to balance our energies. When we follow nature's lead, we are most successful in keeping our bodies in balance. One very effective way to do this is to eat seasonally. And what that means is that you eat what's growing naturally in your area at any given time of year. I'm not talking about things that are grown out of season in greenhouses. I'm talking about what grows naturally from the earth in the climate that you're in at any point in the year. These foods specifically help you counterbalance the energy that is in excess in the environment as well as in your body. In the spring, the things that grow naturally, like berries and dandelion, have very cleansing and detoxing qualities to them. So eating more of these foods, bringing more of these foods into your system, will automatically start you detoxing and releasing. They'll also build up the right kinds of energy so that you can move forward as healthy as possible. The important thing here is to not get your mindset into deprivation. You don't have to eat only these foods. You just have to eat more of them. Think in terms of putting more on your plate that is seasonally growing in your area. And as you do that, remember that it's important to eat the rainbow, eat foods that have many different colors so that you are bringing the right combinations of energies into your system. Every food has physical qualities, every food has temperature qualities, and every food has energetic qualities. The second thing that you can do is be sure you're eating less foods that come in a package any package. These foods, they're highly processed and they actually bring your energy down no matter how healthy they seem. Consuming less packaged foods and more whole foods helps you to start increasing the energy level in your body, helping your system detox. Bringing in more packaged foods adds chemicals to your system and dulls your life force. Again, it doesn't mean move to no packaged foods. It means eat less of them and more whole foods that don't come in packages. And I've just alluded to the third point, which is eat foods that have life force. How do I know if a food has life force? It will be brightly colored. It will smell fantastic. And it will just look and feel fresh. When we ingest something, we bring in energetic qualities as well and nourish all of the levels of our bodies, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. A great way to clear the excess mucus in our lungs is actually to take a bunch of greens and sniff them. Bring that air into your lungs. Green vegetables have this incredible quality of clearing our lungs that works right at the heart chakra, right at the lungs. So make sure that you're inhaling deeply and smelling and sniffing your foods before you eat them. A lot of us think of detox as just physical, just what we're eating, just what we're drinking. But guess what? There are so many other aspects to it as well. I suggest that when we're focusing on detoxing our body from winter or detoxing the sluggishness from our systems, that we clean our screens. And this is really important. First of all, yes, in the traditional sense of spring cleaning, clean the screens by wiping them down. Keeping screens and mirrors clean increases the clarity that you have in your life, in your focus and intuition. It's also important to make very active choices about what is coming to us 
through our screens. What are we watching? What are we reading? What's coming at us from social media? This is important, especially this year after we have become so much more digitally connected than ever before. And this is out of necessity. So during this time, as we move into spring, think about cleaning up your screens. One other way that we can do this is to get into the digital clutter that we create. Find where your digital clutter is and start cleaning it up. There is an element of overwhelm that comes when we have documents all over the place and folders all over the place and nothing is organized. So if you want to start reclaiming your energy and recentering and grounding, having more focus, clean up your digital clutter. The next thing that's really important is move your body. It doesn't matter for how long, or how, it doesn't have to be a formal exercise session unless that's what you enjoy, just move. Physical movement moves energy. So if there's energy stagnating anywhere in your life, start moving your body and energy will start flowing again. It's also important physiologically because our lymphatic system grabs toxins from all over our body and it moves them through and out but the lymphatic system does not have its own pump. So when we are not pumping it somehow, it just sits there like barges full of garbage all over our body. And then these toxins start to leak back into our system. Our heart can pump lymph and physical movement also pumps lymph. So the more we move, the more we exercise, the more lymph pumps as our heart rate raises, as our body moves, this waste gets pumped through and out through the breath, through the skin as sweat, and through all of the waste products. So more movement means a cleaner lymphatic system and means a greater chance of being as healthy as possible. It's as simple as that. Another important aspect of cleansing is breathing deeply and thoroughly. Our bodies naturally release toxins, naturally detox through our breath. And because of our posture, because of the kinds of work we do in our stress levels, often we have a very shallow breathing pattern where we just bring the breath right here and it doesn't go any further. This does not help our body to detox. It actually increases cortisol levels because we are not taking full deep breaths. The deeper we breathe, the more effective it is. Breathing fully oxygenates the blood, clears stagnant air from the base of the lungs, and releases toxins of all kinds. The important thing to remember is to always breathe out your nose. As soon as you begin breathing out your mouth, you are reducing the efficacy of every system in your body. It's also a sign that your body is in stress and you start creating more cortisol, which will create the exact opposite effect that you're trying to create in your body. And the last way to simply detox in the spring is to clean and clear your space. As sensitive people, we are incredibly affected by the area surrounding us. And many of us don't pay any attention to this at all. We don't recognize this as a barrier to having as much energy as possible. So we don't recognize it as a way to quickly and easily increase our energy. Deep cleaning our surroundings helps us to feel better in them, and it also helps to get rid of a lot of allergens and things we would be sensitive to in our environment. Keeping only things that bring us joy and serve us well also helps. The energy of everything in our space affects us. So if there are many objects that are no longer serving, It's time to let them go, to let them live their life purpose somewhere else because that stagnation is creating stagnation in our lives and in our space. When you are sufficiently detoxed, you'll feel lighter in your body. You'll feel lighter in your mind and spirit as well. You'll feel that you've released a lot and that you are in flow with the seasons and you'll see flow happening in your life. Spring allergies are a really good sign that you have not sufficiently detoxed your body. So if you are prone to spring allergies, you may want to pay special attention to the suggestions in this video to eliminate 
as much potential for allergies as possible. When we don't sufficiently clear the mucus from our system, it creates more of an allergic response to the stimulus from outside of us in the springtime. If this is something that plagues you year after year, you might want to think about doing a more formal cleanse. Just make sure that you do your research and it is a very well-established cleanse and that it is medically sound and safe. I hear people cleansing all year long, all the time. This is very dangerous. Spring is the perfect time to cleanse. Why? Because everything outside of our bodies is supporting cleansing. The earth is growing foods that support cleansing. The air supports cleansing. Everything supports it. And so as within, so without. Our bodies also are supporting the release of everything we need to release in the cleanse. So this is a very natural time to ride the wave and create momentum for these shifts in our bodies. Fall is also an acceptable time to cleanse because of the nature of the changing seasons. However, never, ever, ever even consider cleansing in summer or winter. And if someone invites you to do so, know that that person is not qualified to lead you through a cleanse. It is very dangerous to cleanse your body and detox your body during these seasons because the weather is so extreme outside of you as well as inside of you that you will throw your body so far out of balance, it will take a very long time for you to recover that balance. As your body starts to ask for cleansing and detoxification, as you start to feel the excitement and the hop in your step that spring brings, pay attention to these few simple ways that you can detox your body more successfully. I guarantee you that you will have fantastic results if you pay attention to even just a couple of these things. If you do nothing else, start eating more seasonally. That alone will start shifting your body, your emotions, and your energy level almost instantaneously. So happy detoxing, happy cleansing, and happy spring. As always, thank you so much for being here. Please feel free to share this video far and wide. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video ever again. And if you would like to go further and move more into the flow of miracles, move into more of the synchronicities and the ease and grace that is available to us at this time, please join us for the Opening to Miracles three-part series. Don't worry if you've missed any pieces of the series. As soon as you sign up, you'll receive the videos of the parts you might have missed. I look so forward to connecting with you again soon and to being with you in the flow of miracles as you are in a lighter, more detoxed, more cleansed body. We'll talk soon, everyone. Bye.